Hey y'all, it is Nikki G and we are back with another video. So if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are back, welcome back y'all. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay. Yeah, we're just running a couple errands of a free Dunkin' Donut coffee. It was frozen, but now it's like I don't even know what this video is about. It's really ugly outside. I'm running a couple errands for Christmas, last minute gifts. I gotta get wrapping paper because I ran out. Sad. I gotta go grocery shopping. So much fun, y'all. And he's looking at me like I'm talking to myself. You know what's really funny? I wonder if she like pulls forward to say, oh, that chick's FaceTiming. And then she sees me talking to myself. Still staring at me. Eventually, when I go home for size nap, I think I'm gonna like fix myself up because i'm looking like a wreck yes i gotta do something with this hair i gotta change this outfit this was kind of like i woke up and was out before i get like my day started and stuff i really want to share this video with you a lot of people have been telling me to do this trend that's been trending like on youtube and like instagram and tiktok like you give your toddler an egg and supposedly they get some type of like emotional attachment to it and they're real gentle with it so i'm gonna peep the video right after this so y'all can see and let me know what you think it's so cute and, and some people like show that their kids get so emotional so i was so interested to see how si was gonna act so just check it out he's so stinking cute y'all so stinking cute egg that's an egg <laughs> He is so stinking adorable and he's so I love his emotion. Like Sai is such a sweetheart. He has so much emotion, so much love, so much care. And he said bropped, which means dropped. And when that part and when that happened, like I literally was behind the camera, like tearing up because he's just so stinking cute. Just wanted to share that with y'all. And I don't know where this video is going, like I said but let's go somewhere with it. Let's enjoy our day. So yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm rambling. I need to get up and go into this store. I am just like dragging, but let's get it, let's go. Hey y'all, so we are back at home. Oh my gosh, it is such like a disgusting day. Then it started to rain. That's why I didn't film like going into the stores. Like I just did what I had to do, went in and came out. And now it's cold outside. Like I just, this is why people get sick. Later on, we are going to go do some more stuff, let the rain pass, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to like get ready and do something with myself because it's been a while. Let's get it. If I'm looking this way, it's because I have a mirror. I'm just going to do a little makeup and get my hair, do my hair. With some more tips y'all been giving me, which I love. Thank you so much. Only because I'm going to ramble on some things like that I've seen while I get ready. But I need to remember to get ready and stop rambling so much so i'm on tiktok if y'all aren't on tiktok get a tiktok and if you are on tiktok follow me i'm nikki genus of course so follow me i follow back i have a mixture of stuff on there between family and just just a little bit of everything i'm not gonna give it away so y'all just like follow me or just view it just spy just stalk me anyways so i was on tiktok and i saw this guy who duetted with this girl because you know how you can do it blah 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 yes i'm sure you guys know but though for those of you who don't know um you can duet with people on tiktok basically this guy duetted with this girl well first of all let me tell you what the girl did so the video was of this girl who was doing the audio of have you guys heard that song is like mm, i ooh, i ice that song so basically she was doing that song and the point of the video basically was the ice part um that her husband walks in the door with a 2000 
dollar TV. And she looks at him and says like the part of that song and when the ice part comes on basically what she's trying to say is you could buy yourself a $2,000 TV and she shows her finger and she's like but you can't buy me a wedding ring. It's TikTok y'all. It's TikTok. Stuff is real. Sometimes some stuff isn't. Some stuff is skidded. Sometimes it's not. But I mean that was her video and I know I know you're gonna get hate you're gonna get likes on certain videos you know that's just normal that's a part of social media I know I get it but this particular guy literally went out of his way now I can understand you're gonna comment and stuff but this guy literally went on his way to duet this girl and I wasn't even gonna say anything honestly but this chick was like so upset I'm like you know what I'm gonna do a getting ready type video vlog blah 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 and I'm going to speak upon it so I can give you my opinion and hear what y'all want to say or your opinion however know what you guys with your goals I want to know what you guys think as well Basically, the guy lets the video play out right he lets the video play out and after she gets to the part with the ring he cuts it off right so he comes on the screen and when he comes on the screen he's like lady oh my gosh your husband can buy a thousand dollar tv but he cannot put a ring on your finger first of all it's a tiktok y'all okay maybe she's being for real maybe she's joking but the point is that you literally went out of your way to address this situation first of all you don't know their situation so that just like aggravated me because there's no timeline on life and tiktok social media i feel like pans that out so bad for these young kids is it makes it like a man or a woman should be at some point in their life which is total bogus to me anyways he rambled on the video saying that, you know, if you're with a man longer than three years and he still hasn't proposed, break up with him because he's not interested. That is such a lie. Oh my gosh. So you have women probably sitting at their house saying, oh my gosh, my man's not interested in me because he hasn't proposed to me and I've been with him for three plus years or four or five or six. What? Y'all, I've been with my man for seven years before he proposed to me. So does that mean I should have broke up with him? No, because seven years later he proposed to me. Everybody's on a different level. Everybody's timeline is different. Some people get married at 16. Some people get married at 20, 29, 30, 60, 80. There's people that get married at all different ages. There's people who have babies at all different ages. And just because a man doesn't propose to you after three years, like that doesn't mean he's not interested in you. You're not born with a playbook that says at three year mark, man needs to propose to woman. No, that is not how it is y'all. We are stop putting timeline on these kids. Like, like, I don't understand. Am I wrong? Please comment below like how you feel, but that's, that's really, really, dumb don't get married because they want to travel first some people don't get married because they want to go to school first some people haven't even met anybody so you're telling me okay so you're like 30 years old you need to hurry up and meet somebody to get married because your mark is 33 years old to get married no better hurry up because your time clock is clicking and you need to get kids going you know what i mean no why are you making everything so rushed when you rush things that's when things don't happen do not rush your timeline that you supposedly have let it happen the way it's supposed to happen. I wasn't looking for a man and I met the love of my life. I got so into this video, like I was, I forgot I was putting makeup on. Come on, like seriously? I just, at that, and she, the poor girl like duetted it again. And she was just so upset um, saying, you know, it was a joke. We bought this TV together. We got a new house and I was just joking, but you shouldn't do that and say things like that. Cause you could really mess with somebody like mind and have people break up and like all this stuff. And it's, it's like so true. Things could pan out so bad. People listen to thank you Sai. wow i missed that spot some people listen to social media and look up to these so much so to these people to these youtubers to these tiktokers and that's how i feel i think things will happen when things are supposed to happen i met my husband when i was 19 years old i know people that meet people like i said 
that have been going to school with each other and with each other since elementary school. Everybody is different. Like, to me, when that guy said, if a man hasn't proposed to you after three years, like, then you should leave him. No, y'all. I knew from day one that I wanted to marry my husband because we were traveling. We wanted to travel. I was finishing school. I mean, I was 19 years old and he was 23. Like, he was done with school. So things are just different. I mean, some people who want to have kids. Some people don't even want to get married. Some people want to do things in different order. There's no chronicle order to your life. Like, chrono chronological. Chronological. <laughs> Go back to school. That's really annoying. Like, how people put that in people's heads. Like, it goes into their brain thinking, oh my gosh, like, I'm getting old, or he doesn't love me. First of all, honey, if your man is going to be with you that long, like, okay, a wedding is not all, but most girls dream. Like, they love it. They're just, they just want that special day. You know what I'm saying? Right? Am I right? Yes, it's not for everybody, but for most it is but just because a man gives you a ring and proposes to you like doesn't mean that he's interested okay people get divorces you can get divorces just like you break up so if a man's gonna be with you three four five six seven eight nine ten whatever years that man is into you not even if it's a ring or not like a ring is a ring how you can make it defined as telling a woman if he doesn't put a ring on your finger leave him it's a it's a big commitment etc and so forth but so is being in a relationship it's so interested because i love love i love love so much like y'all just let me know like how you think what you think it is do you think it's true if a man should be proposing to you after so many years or i just think everybody's situations are different you know what i mean weddings are expensive too they don't have to be but they are and some people get married and they don't even have rings so everybody believes differently i just thought i felt bad for the girl because i was raised that if you just don't have nothing nice to say just don't say it at all i really don't know i just i felt bad for the poor girl and it's just to me that's that's not logical to me whatsoever let it happen the way it's gonna happen right let me know below what y'all think and i also want to know like your ages and stuff like that or your love stories like comment them below because i love reading about them i love seeing them but y'all let me know what you think do you think that's true if a man's not with you or a woman after three years that they don't propose to you that you should break up with them because like how i see it is why would you want to be with somebody who propose to you but you're not so happy with but break up with the person that you are happy with like i just don't understand just because you want marriage or that title of being marriage married married i'd rather be with the one that i love rather than just go be with somebody i'm not happy with because they're opposed to me you know what i mean i don't understand i believe everything happens for a reason that is my main logo believe when it's your time for something to happen between you like it's gonna happen and i don't think those things should rush be rushed because when you rush those things that's when things don't work out and like really it's it's god's plan like and it's worth the wait y'all it really is worth the wait like enjoy your life be happy because that's that's all stressful and like being people saying like hateful comments and stuff that's stressful like why can't we do more positivity and not negativity who's gonna see this video if a lot of people are gonna see it or not but like just you know what i mean be happy enjoy your life be you you know what i mean enjoy each other enjoy your family like just stop stressing the small stuff if somebody sends you guys like a hateful comment you can turn it into a positive you know what i mean or ignore it whatever i just want to like talk about that because i just saw and it like bothered me especially when i see somebody cry i don't like to see somebody cry but i don't know like i said a trillion times let me know what y'all think in the comments below if you think i'm wrong or i'm right i don't know how am i doing on my makeup y'all am i looking bomb or saying if i'm not you could tell me it's all good tell me what i could fix i want to try fake eyelashes i used to do fake eyelashes like a long time ago but since quarantine is up i don't really care i don't really put makeup on period i don't know tag me in some of your favorite like eyelash brand because i want to try different stuff like i'm super interested in trying new stuff i have really long eyelashes but i um i want to just try different makeup stuff y'all so what's everybody doing for christmas let me know y'all let me know what y'all doing for christmas what y'all asked for for christmas 
straw broke, y'all. Look at this. What the heck? How does this happen? <clears throat> I hope I didn't swallow my phone. Tell me what y'all been up to. Like, I've been, I'm, I watch all the Christmas. I'm, like, double watching Christmas movies, y'all. I watch them too quick. I love Christmas. And I just watched all the Christmas movies too quick. What are y'all watching? Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. Let me know what y'all watching because I want to find something new. I just started Survivor and I'm obsessed with it. Like legitimately like obsessed. Like sickly obsessed. The show is awesome. I, But I'm like insanely obsessed. And I'm only on like season one by like episode six. And I got like 23 episodes to go. I'm sorry. No, I don't. I have 23 seasons to go. Comment below like what are you guys watching movie wise, show wise, like starting the good girl. I love Riverdale, but I finished it way too quickly. Like I love this smell so much. Oh my gosh. To move my camera back there and do my hair, y'all. So let's get it up. You can see me in the back. What up? What up? My hair has grown so quick already, y'all. Like, can't even enjoy a hairstyle. Like, I would get haircuts and hate them, and they would take forever long to grow. Then when I like it, they grow so fast. This, this is my hair. I didn't brush it. I don't care. I'm gonna do a. A lot of y'all asking me because. <laughs> don't base it off of this my hair is like really curly like when i put the right products in it and stuff and I actually care for it but i might do a video one day so y'all can see but i really want to like go shorter i think i really like the short look i was like i used to have such long hair like i mean i would sit on it like it was down to my butt i feel like i have a twin but up too long but i always felt like i just wouldn't look good with short and maybe i don't look good with short maybe it's just my opinion I probably look like terrible, but I love my hair short, y'all. I just love it. All right, let's straighten it. I think it's heated up now. Argan heat. That was really hot. I felt the heat touch my hand. I think I had way too much coffee today. My broken straw, I just spit all over the place. <laughs> so I took my clip and I don't know where it went. And I don't feel like going to the front because actually it's keeping him occupied. Let's section it off, y'all. Let's set in, y'all. But yeah, so I use a comb because I feel like it just gets through that much better. And I do a little style at the end because I'm a styler. So can anybody else, like, not get the back of their, like, head? Sometimes I, like, I swear, like, I'll be looking so bomb, like, in the front. And then, like, the people from the back, it's like a wave. Yeah, that's me. I'm that people. Aw. Uh, and yes, I did put a heat protectant so I don't need people be like, oh my god, you didn't put a heat protectant here. I did. I just did it before. I didn't show y'all. So, yes, I did. And I'm so excited because look at this. This is from being pregnant and all my hair, like, like fell out in certain areas my hair is growing y'all finally almost two years later and, and i just scared myself because i just saw my twin in the back i'm gonna show you the bump that i'm talking about look at this can y'all see the bump look at this it looks terrible like i love all comments all co opinions are welcome on this channel express yourself so yeah sorry you guys i haven't like been super active lately i'm trying like having so much fun like i said and Sai is at such a fun age and i'm just having so much fun with him and it's just i gotta remember like pull your camera out like film this you know i just love this time of year y'all like i swear like i love this time of year i donated a ton of clothes like i'm not even joking you like 12 bags of clothes y'all i donated like it's so funny but i don't like to throw stuff away i donate it like i love donating other people have it who can just have it like especially around the holidays like everybody deserves to have something like a gift or something to open and oh my gosh look at these babies see all this stuff is growing y'all look this did, any other moms any other moms like this is insane this is postpartum hair two years later look at this it's not growing Y'all, I have not done my hair and makeup in so long. I'm like, who this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do not look that bomb. I'm just kidding. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I get so happy when I get to my last part because... <gasps> so, yes. Look at this. <laughs> We're almost coming to an end because my hair is almost done, y'all. But I just want to wish everybody a happy Thursday. 
and um, I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Everybody's family is doing well and staying safe. And I send you positivity and prayer to anybody who needs it. Ever you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, etc. I happy all of the special holidays to y'all. Comment below what y'all celebrate. I'm so interested. I love you all so much. Like so much y'all are like so amazing. I love speaking to every single one of y'all. You guys are like, you guys are just really something special. Like YouTube is amazing. I love YouTube because I get to speak to everybody from all over the world. Even like here that you guys are like in the area that I am. You know what I mean? Like comment below where y'all are. I love to see where y'all are from. Like, I have people from France. I have people from Ireland. But I think I did good on the back. I don't feel bumps. Y'all see bumps? Comment below. Do I see bumps? I don't feel them. But yeah. So, yeah, I love y'all so much. I'm going to go get my outfit on. I don't know what I'm going to wear, y'all. But I love you guys so much. Comment, like, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Press that notification bell. And now, but if you don't want to, it's okay. Like I said, you can come on my page and just I love y'all so much. Like I said, a trillion times. Let's have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.